David, thanks for joining us. I guess we'll start with a, a general overview of the company. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Uh, Centurion Minerals, I'm the CEO of, uh, our symbol is CTN, trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange. We are um, a South American, Argentina in particular, based company that's focused on agricultural gypsum, effectively a fertilizer. Uh, we've outlined a deposit, we've built a processing facility, and we're now selling into South America. Can you talk a bit, I mean, there are always going to be ups and downs in business, and you mentioned your, uh, your Agra Gypsum project. Let's talk about the one in Argentina. Um, you're probably going to be one of the few people I maybe talked to today, I could be wrong, where weather well, can affect what's going on in parts of the world when your, your project's there. Can you that, talk a bit about the struggles you had? Yeah, certainly. Uh, weather is a big factor in agriculture. Farm, any farmer will tell you that. Yeah. Uh, we experience, we, just as we're getting uh, uh, our facility set to go last year, we hit a very uh, dreadful wet weather in, in Argentina. Um, probably the worst weather they've seen in at least a hundred years. Wow. Uh, a lot of farms were completely flooded, farmers couldn't get on, so that really affected our business as well as the whole industry. Uh, we've come through that, uh, things have dried out, we're now uh, really really starting to ramp up and, and sell product to the customers that we that we uh, have, have targeted. On. Yeah, and, and, and all, I guess all you can really do is just huddle with your team and go, okay, of course we'll get through this, we're all smart people, but you're reliant on that. You clearly have come through that, but you also have to deal with drought as well, do you not? Well, they, we hit El Nino last yeah, year yeah. and then El Nina, and I, I get them mixed up as to which one's really wet and which one's really dry, but the, it went from extremely wet to extremely dry. We need a bit of a balance there. We, we've hit that balance now, right. weather-wise. Um, the, the good thing about last year, we didn't have, we, we did sell a bit of product, we didn't sell as much as we wanted to, but we were able to canvas the industry. We've developed some new leads, some new clients. As a consequence, we've actually got, uh, most of our sales to date are going uh, in export to Paraguay. Um, so that's those leads and those uh, new clients have come right. out of a, a pretty tough situation. Turning a positive into a negative, I like that. And oh, you the actually, lemonade, we've got the lemonade. That's the phrase. Uh, we and we should say, you've kind of led me into my next question. We've talked about South America, Argentina specifically. Can you talk a bit about Paraguay? You said you've just, you, you kind of were led that way after last year. Can you talk about updates in that country? Yes, um, I would say that most of our sales right now, this month, last month, probably next month are going into Paraguay. Paraguay and Argentina, north central Argentina anyway, have sort of offsetting seasons. They both have two growing oh, seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that actually allows us to have for pretty much every month of the year uh, regular sales and, and no downtime. Um, so Argentina is starting to develop um, as, a, as an export. We're selling in, in US dollars. Our costs are in Argentine pesos. The peso has been hit pretty pretty uh, hard mm -hmm. more recently. Devaluations. Um, that's actually been a benefit for us. What uh, I mean, here we are in springtime. Uh, can you talk about uh, things looking forward for the rest of 2018? We're capable of processing and selling with the current facility about 4,000 tons per year. So 40 to 50,000 tons. We sell that on an average Canadian dollar. We have a couple of different products, but roughly $100 Canadian. We've, we've got about a 50% margin, even on the, the small amounts that we're doing right now. We, uh, our largest month to date has been 1,000 a, a tons. We will likely, we're on track to be hitting that this month in our kind of restart this year. And, uh, I, and it looks like we should be able to accelerate up to that capacity level over the next two, three months, which will put us in good good cash flow positive territory. Thank you for your time today. I know it's a really busy time for everybody here uh, at this gathering. Uh, we've been talking with David Teppel, who is the President, CEO, and Director. A lot of titles. I like that. Um, <laughs> A lot of responsibility, yeah, I suppose. Going, yeah, it's not all just the titles, <laughs> it's the responsibilities. Of course, uh, David with uh, Centurion Minerals. Uh, congratulations on overcoming uh, uh, some of the diversities that take place in this business and reminding us that weather is often the king and it just it depends on how you deal with it. So, yeah, it is. David, cheers, thank you. Thanks very much for the time.